Hello, this is Hakka Bean, and today we're going to be reading SCP-183, also known as Weaver. I don't know what the name means. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I remember, SCP-183, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-183's container must be soundproofed and lined with heavy steel plate. Size of the container is unimportant as SCP-183 has no apparent preference and will use as much space as it is given. Personnel are advised are strongly advised to avoid entering the container. This is pointless and exceedingly dangerous, and any desire to do so may be indicative of of hitter to oh, unobserved psychological capabilities of SCP-183. His song. See below. So it's an incognito hazard. Openings in the container are to be is small and brief, preferably exclusive to feeding purposes. The organism has shown no real desire to escape, but should this occur, it it could it quickly render the entire research environment impassable and potentially quite, quite dangerous. SCP-183 song has been described as pleasant, as long as no subliminal effects are observed. Researchers are permitted to keep the chamber's embedded microphones active if they wish. Description SCP-183 is an unknown biological entity that is, for all intents and purposes, invisible. Evidence of its existence came um, from, um, comes from in the form of monofilament wires which the organism apparently synthesizes. These fibers are extremely thin and durable. They are capable of slicing through soft tissue, bone, and even in body armor with very little force. Coupled with the difficulty of seeing them, this constitutes a serious this hazard to all personnel within the container. Organic material left within the container disappears at a rate of approximately 4 kilograms per day, an, indica an indication that the organism is omnivorous. The wires synthesized by SV-183 are unique in human experience. Tests indicate that they may be a form of carbon and nanotube. They appear frequently and almost instantly, strung top between walls, ceiling and floor in no apparent pattern, forming a convoluted, razor-sharp tangle. This may be a be a nautilus to a spider's web, a, a trap to capture food. Small animals in the chamber are left alone until killed by their own movement. If they are non-fatally injured by the wires, SCP-183 will consume any severed body parts but will not attack the animal itself until it is dead. Individual fibers vanish after several hours. Our working theory is that they eventually lose their adhesive properties and fall to the uh, floor to be consumed and recycled by SCP-183. Hey, at least it recycles. Interestingly, SCP-183 flexes wires in a distinctly musical pattern producing a similarly complex and euphonic memory which is reproducible on the I mean, pentatonic scale. The limited number of notes suggests that the wires are produced at discrete lengths and tensions, possibly indicative of high intelligence. This may be designed to learn prey. Attempts at playing back the tune or others in the same key have produced no observable changes in activity suggested that it is not intended for communication. Current research on SCP-183 aims to reverse engineer the organism's monofilament and wires and to ascertain the mechanism of its in invisibility. Well, that was a short one. Anyway, that was SCP-183, just titled in quotes, Weaver. Now I think we see why. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!